Cherry here, and welcome back to my channel. First off, sorry about how long this video took. I decided to switch to a two week per video schedule, uh, but apparently I forgot to tell you guys. As for this video, I don't feel like I have to introduce the concept of AI generated art or how pervasive it has gotten on the internet. People know, you guys know. It's especially bad on platforms like Pinterest, where it's just, it's so much, you, you just look up character art on Pinterest and 99% of it is AI generated. It's so bad. But I've also seen in the comments of those posts about people saying, well, you can't copyright it, so it's a free OC. And I like doing character design stuff and character redesign stuff on this channel. If you like that sort of content, go ahead and like and subscribe. But I thought it would be fun to take some of these AI generated characters and redesign them, fix some of the weird design choices and draw it in my style. Here's the first character I did. I like how she turned out a little bit better than the second one I did, though I might have been a little bit biased because the caption of this post on Pinterest said that it was generated using a Splatoon prompt, which I can only assume is where the mask came from, just the AI not realizing it's supposed to be like one of those squid masks. But the caption did say Splatoon in it, so I had no choice, I had to redraw her. I really liked the color scheme actually, from like all the AI generated stuff I've seen. The colors are usually pretty good. It's just everything else that is just so weird. Like in her ref, uh, her hairstyle changes, the shoes she wears changes, she goes from wearing a skirt in one image, the leggings in the second, the bag changes, and then there's also just like weirdness where it looks like there's some sort of like decal sticker type things on like the skirt and pants and there's just like the slime all over her and, and just that thing. What is that thing? I have no idea what that thing is supposed to be. <laughs> Uh, and it's just, these images are just such a mess. They look nice at a glance, but if you even look at for it for like two seconds, you're like, oh wow, is she wearing glasses or does she just have like weird face tattoos? Anyways, for my version of this character, I decided I wanted to keep the ponytail because I liked the look of that. And then I kind of tried to combine the skirts and the leggings idea. I also wanted to keep some of the details with like the decals of the patterning on the skirt, but I don't know, it just, the way it was rendered or drawn in the AI image just made it look like stickers to me and I'm like, I don't like that, I wanna do something else. I did draw a couple pins on the jacket just because I thought it would be a nice way to keep the details up there, but I kept a lot of details on the skirt. I did reincorporate the slime sort of idea that seemed to just be like melting off her AI image by putting a cute little slime pattern on the skirt. I actually, this isn't going to make any sense to you unless you've played Splatoon 3's hero mode, but I actually made the slime bit here look kind of like the fuzzy ink thing just because I thought it fit her colors. I actually had a lot of trouble drawing her jacket. I decided to change her pose about halfway through drawing it because I realized I couldn't really show off the X pattern on that sleeve with the way I had her pose generally. But I just slapped that arm there. I did not think about like proportions or positioning at all. And I think that kind of hurt my <laughs> drawing a little bit. I also think I messed up on the perspective of her bag, which is an oopsie for me. But overall, I do really like her. I like big jacket, big shoes character. And I think she fits that pretty nicely. I did not think I was going to get any like actual OCs out of this, but uh, I'm definitely drawing her again. I love this character so much. I don't have like a name for her or anything, so if you look at her and you think of a name, I will be very happy to accept any suggestions for her. Uh, I just love how she came out. She looks great. And on to the second girl I did. I had a lot of trouble with her outfit. Part of it was the hood. I think I mentioned in my last video that I just, I don't like drawing hoods, but I'm like, I have to face that fear at some point. So I thought I'm gonna try it this time. I did not look at any references other than her AI image, which I probably should have because if you look at it, her hair is literally melting through her hood, which obviously I can't do. She wasn't sparking as much interest in like her design as the previous girl was, but look at her. She literally has AI written on her sleeve. I had to draw her. The AI image also has these random straps and baubles on her. It kind of looks like she was supposed to be wearing like a backpack or something, but uh, I, don't, I don't know. It wasn't working with all of the other layers. I wanted to make her be like sort of bell shaped also, but I think I screwed up. It, she isn't like full enough in the dress skirt thing. Also look at this mess of a sneaker. 
Look at these sneakers. They don't make any sense at all. I, I had to do so much work to get these sneakers to look like actual shoes. Her color scheme looked alright, but I wasn't actually as taken with the red and cyan color scheme as I thought I would because that color scheme is really, really close to my favorite one, which is cyan and pink. It's just, I don't know, I didn't really like it as much. I, I did end up having to tweak the color scheme a little bit because her hair was like, I couldn't tell what color it was supposed to be because part of it was like rendered weirdly. Actually, I think some of the appeal here that I couldn't really capture was the rendering process because she has so much more red on the AI generated image versus what I did. I just didn't want to put a bunch of random red sparkles on her ever, which, you know, might have been my bad. I did try to incorporate more red into her design, like giving her the big bulky red uh, zipper there, but I don't know, it just didn't really turn out the way I wanted. I probably could have done something more with the hair or something. It's not a bad design by any measure, I probably just didn't execute it right. If I had a little bit more time, I might have tried redrawing her, but this video is late as it is, so I'm just gonna let her be like that. I think she's still pretty cute on her own though. Anyways, these are the two designs I ended up making. Let me know which one you like better. If you like this video, I'm very tempted to do it again, especially to like look for more characters like that first girl that just seem really really fun to put in outfits and stuff. But no, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe, uh, let me know if you want to see more of this sort of thing. If you want to see more of me, I have a Tumblr if you want to make sure I don't like haven't died or something between video uploads. Uh, you can follow my Tumblr and my art Tumblr, all that sort of jazz. And yeah, I've been Cherry and I'll see y'all next time.